hot today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Ashley. Today is Thursday, April 23rd, and I am finally wrapping up this video. This has been over a month worth of content. I am just so excited. This is probably like one of the top five videos that I've ever made that I am like over the moon about. I'm so excited. I really am interested in herbs and oils and I've been doing a ton of research on all of this and it makes me like so happy inside, especially with the stuff that I'm going to share with you guys today. But a big disclaimer, I am not a professional. I am not a doctor, I am not an herbalist, I am none of those things. I just did some research and I wanted to share this really cool video with you guys and see if it could hopefully help you guys. Um, I've read a lot about this and I'm just really excited to try it out. I tried it just a few minutes ago on my husband Keith for his eczema and I just put it on the side of my head for my severe scalp psoriasis. Um, we deal with some skin issues over here, but that's okay. Um, also, another th great thing is diet. I have changed a little bit of my diet um, to help with my autoimmune disease, which is psoriasis. Um, so first off, before I roll the clips to the other part of the video, I wanted to just go over a few things. I will have links down below from the National Eczema Association and a few other links that I got some information about. So there's two types of oils. There's a really popular essential oils and there's also infused oils. There could be other oils but those are just the two that I personally know about. So today we're talking all about infused oils. I have some notes here. This is a essential oil right here. You obviously know what essential oils are. Many essential oils are steam distilled, which involves steaming the plant material to produce steam, which then travels through a tube, which then runs through cold water. The liquid that forms from the condensation will be in two parts, one part water compound and the other part oil compound. So when it comes to infused oils, which is what I made today, a infused oil is a basic vegetable oil like sweet almond oil, olive oil, or grapeseed oil that has been infused with, with the flavor of a plant. Done by steeping the leaves, flowers, steam, stems, or roots, either with heat or with a long period of time. So this is from the National Eczema Association. Other oils that really help um, with eczema and psoriasis are virgin coconut oil, virgin sunflower oil, and Jehovah oil. They have antifungal, anti-inflammatory properties that helps um, soothe itchy and inflamed skin. Um, but the main thing of why I really wanted to make this uh, infused oil was obviously for Keith and I, but it's also really good for massage massage oils. I have a big interest in massage, masseuse, how do you say that? Um, but obviously I'm not a certified masseuse. One day I would love to be certified because I just love loving people and helping them out with getting the knots out of their back and it, it relaxes people and it makes me feel really happy that I can help somebody feel relaxed and to help them when they're in pain. So this in here is this oil. Um, so it has a little dropper and you can just use it for um, massaging your back. Um, put it on any cuts or wounds. It also heals sunburn and it can also be used as a moisturizer. I didn't want to just jump into the video because I feel like this video needed an intro. We have our neighbor, um, their little boy suffers with eczema, so I have a little bottle for them that I need to fill. I'm um, gonna give this to them and hopefully it helps them out. So let's get on to the video. So I am in our garden picking our lavender 
and I'm putting that into our little cute wicker basket. The lavender that I am picking is called Goodwin Creek Gray Lavender. It has silver foliage contrast and with beautiful deep purple blooms. It is a beautiful, beautiful lavender. Uh, this was, I think, a few days or a week later. I went ahead and started picking the lavender apart. But this stage, you're going to want to do this outside. Do not do it indoors. You will get a massive headache. So make sure you do this part outside. Alright, so once I have picked the jars that I want to place the lavender in, make sure you set up a pot of boiling water and have the jars sit in there for about 15 minutes and let them get cleaned and sterilized. Once that's done, be very, very careful and take the jars out of the boiling water and let them cool completely. Once the jars have completely cooled down, you're going to want to place the lavender into the jars. I filled them all the way up to the top. And then once you've done that, I tapped it until so I can fit a little bit more in the jar. And the same thing to the other one. And then I'm taking my olive oil, um, make sure it's virgin olive oil, and just make sure everything is completely filled with oil. Then once you have filled the jars with oil, you're gonna wanna place the lid tightly on the jars and make sure you put the date of when you did this so you know in a month when you did it. And after this, you can place it in a cupboard or a drawer or on the window seal. Okay, so it helps if you push record on your devices. I'm taking the lavender oil that I infused. I started this on March 15th and it's currently April 23rd or 24th. I'm not sure of the day but it's been over a month and I let it um, infuse in these jars. So now I'm going to take it out of here and strain it in this bowl with the strainer. And I'm going to use this cloth to strain it. I'm going to start with the little one first because it is my first time ever doing this. And I'm a little nervous how this is going to be. But let's just try it out. Okay, I'm just gonna dip it in there so that you guys can see. Take it, it looks like this. I'm just gonna squeeze all the excess out. Okay, so I squeezed as much as I could out of here. It is very, very beautiful color. It just looks like that. I'm gonna take this and put it in here. Try it out. And there's your lavender oil. It looks so pretty. You just take this and you can do whatever you want with it. I'm actually gonna put a lid on this one. So that is homemade infused lavender oil. All right, so that is the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and if you want to learn more, please do your own research. Um, that's what I did and I'm just really excited to try out this oil and all the benefits that infused oils have. I'm just really happy and I probably will be doing more in the future. There's plenty of herbs that I really want to play with so I'll definitely have something else coming soon. I don't know what that is yet but probably another video on infused oil. Not too sure. 
Let me know down below in the comments what type of videos you would like to see from me. Um, and I'll just keep making videos that I like um, and content that I like. So if you guys did enjoy any of this video and, that you, and it was a benefit to you, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. It does help me out. And also, if you would like, you can subscribe. Don't feel pressured to, but you should. I just wanted to give you a big thanks for clicking on this video. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a really great day. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!